Welcome to Win the Day from Back to the Bible. I'm your coach, Pastor Nat, and today we're going to talk about living in the light of Jesus. Years ago, my family was struggling financially. My wife had been on bed rest for over four months, and my income, it frankly was not sufficient. We were behind on bills. I remember just feeling overwhelmed. One day, I was able to scrape together just enough cash to go pay our electric bill. The clerk pulled up our account and informed me that the bill had been paid in full. No payment was necessary. I walked away in shock, but I was forever grateful for that grace. Jesus offers us something far greater than the payment of a bill. But many people reject that gift. Why? Jesus has the answer for us in John chapter 3, beginning in verse 18. Whoever believes in Him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the judgment. The light has come into the world, and people love the darkness rather than the light, because their works were evil. In case you're here for the first time or don't remember, Jesus has been talking with a religious leader about salvation. Jesus has rocked the world of salvation. Jesus said that salvation comes not by works or religion, but through Himself alone. In verses 16 and 17, Jesus says that God so loved the world that Jesus came to save the world and not condemn the world. Why is that? Well, verse 18 tells us that the world stands condemned. By nature, people are already condemned. They're condemned in the court of life because they are sinful. If they do not receive Jesus' gift, in other words, believe in Jesus' power to pay for our sin, then they remain judged. But why on earth would anyone reject such a gift? Well, verse 19 tells us that Jesus Christ, the light, He has come into the world, but the world loved the darkness. You see, people love their sin and themselves more than freedom from slavery and eternal judgment. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it happens all the time. People know the coming payment for reckless spending, but they do it anyway. People know the coming health problems from smoking, overeating, and consuming alcohol but they love the addiction more than the freedom. Here's the tragedy of mankind. People who are far from God are not ignorant of God or Jesus' gift. They willingly reject Him and His gracious offer. You see, the light reveals people's sin. It reveals their brokenness and their true need. This is why we avoid the doctor or the dentist or the counselor. It reveals the truth. But not you. You are here today. So here's my challenge for you. Live in the light. Every Christian is tempted to go back to the darkness, even for just a little while. But God rescued you from the darkness. It's dangerous there. So God's Word is a lamp for our lives. So let's engage, listen, and live by God's marvelous light. Now, if you're not a Christian, but you're tired of living in the darkness and racking up that sin debt, come to the light of Christ. Jesus Christ came so you might have life to the fullest. Believe in Him and you will have peace with God today. When you resist the darkness and engage the light, you will win the day.